What's up YouTube? I'm back and this time I'm outside doing a video in response to Silver Hustlin 13's challenge to do it somewhere other than inside my place. So here's what we're going to look at today. A package from Tiny Snacker and a couple of small pickups. As you can see I got a package here from Tiny Stacker. Met up with him. Gonna do a NGC submission for him but uh, before we get into that I'm just gonna show a couple of pickups. If you had seen the live chat you might have uh, overheard me say that I picked up a poke coin and uh, here it is. It's a nice looking proof by the American Mint. Now normally I don't get these types of coins. This is an artsy coin but it is to commemorate uh, the Pope's visit. And he's one of the few guys that uh, I would actually buy a commemorative for. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm not really, I'm not even a Catholic, but uh, I do like what he has to to offer and the message he preaches. As you can see, there's, uh, there are some kids still roaming around. Anyway, it's a nice little proof coin, comes with a little COA. 2015 when he visited the US. I think he's a good guy. Uh, that one's just more for the collection. <laughs> Buy what you like. Don't do it often, so this time I decided to. Now to show what Tiny Stacker is about to send in. Here we go. I took the liberty of pre unwrapping it, so. I don't cut myself. I've seen a few of the guys on YouTube try to do this one-handed and end up cut, cutting themselves. So just decided to make it a little easy and uh, just have it preset out of the way. Let's get this rubber band piece off. And we'll start off. You can see that this is a baby panda. Beautiful baby panda. got a great finish to it don't see any problems with it and it looks like there's more than one hey tiny stacker I might have to uh, kidnap one of these bears there's four of them he's sending in for grading so good luck on that this should be turn out well these are the 15 gram 2014 prototype pandas this was before they actually switched in 2016. What else do we have? We have some gold pandas, one tenth ounce. This is an 89. This one has red spots, so most likely that one will get conserved. A 1990 gold panda. This one, I believe, is an 84 panda. Am I right? Yes, it is an 84. Starting to know my pandas now. Here we have an 85. This one also looks like it has a spot. So that one will probably need to have a little bit of conservation as well. And you see that cloudiness on the field? Typically, the majority of that cloudiness can be removed. Some of it might be PVC residue from the package, but uh, this is one of those ones I would recommend for conservation, mainly because of that dot right over there. You can see that. But boy, do I love pandas. So 84, 85, 90, and 89. Good selection, quite a nice selection so far. 96, the panda hugging the tree, all OMP. He did a good job. He's already going to send it in like this. He got the, the uh, flips all set to go. All I have to do is uh, fill out the paperwork and send it on in. But I'm waiting for my, seven, my one ounce proof Libertads to come in. Here we have an 86, one tenth. Yes. Also another beautiful coin. 
This one is the 87S. S Mint, Shen Yang. No, Shen Zhen Mint. Yeah, so you can see the little mint mark right there. If it was Shen Yang, it'd be a Y. And finally, a gold mercury dime. Nice. I didn't expect this one. Let's see. I might have to do something with that one. As you can see, nice little gold mark. One out of the one US modern. I might have another modern that I'm going to have to send in, but world coins are all good. These are all in the same same batch. And uh, finally, we have a couple of Silver Eagles. Hello, Silver Eagles. These are a nice standard coin. Beautiful. This one's 2014. Both are 2014s. All right. So this is where I usually hang out in the evening, walking the dogs. If you haven't checked out his channel, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think of this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.